Jay Street, great to have you back. Talk to me about wh what led you to the guidance you gave. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's a very different Arista. We are in our second phase of growth. And as you know, the pandemic um, had an effect on all of us, and it slowed us down. But what we're now seeing is a combination of great cloud strength, uh, enterprise diversification, and the post-pandemic era where our customers want to invest more, and Arista is becoming a strategic part of their investment. Talk to me about a bit about customer mix and geographic mix. Uh, what's changing, and, and, and why do you think? If you look at uh, uh, Arista historically, we've very much been focused domestically. Majority, almost 80% of our business came, came from the United States. Um, Arista's made some strong in investments internationally, and if you look at our last quarter, 70% was still the U.S., but 30% was international, which is our strongest um, momentum internationally with a growth of 40-plus percent year over year. Uh, so this has been really nice to watch, and many of that comes from regional strength, but also our cloud titans who invest internationally is part of that. And so that's been very, very nice to watch as well. Uh, Jayshree, how, how are you managing the potential margin impact of having more business with cloud titans? Big customers usually can put pressure on their suppliers uh, to, to lower prices. So um, from an innovation perspective, from a portfolio perspective, how do you plan to manage it? I, I think you hit the nail here. Innovation is a key part of our differentiation, and our customers appreciate that while uh, there's a lot of pricing pressure, that Arista has one of the best software stacks, one of the best management platforms, programmability, quality support, and they're willing to pay for that because the cost of a downtime is millions of dollars. So there is a premium that Arista is given for the superior platform we have. At the same time, you're right, we have the pressures of gross margin due to the really uh, uh, increased cost due to the supply chain, as well as the mix of the Cloud Titans. So it's definitely a balance, and as our Cloud Titan mix gets higher, it will pressure our gross margins a bit more. Hey, Jay Shree, it's Deirdre. I wanted to uh, ask you about our discussion earlier on in the program with Byron Dieter. He was talking about um, perhaps the cloud, the chip shortage, excuse me, hitting cloud infrastructure, data centers. Are you seeing anything on your side? Oh, yeah, we're part of that, too. Um, you know, the cloud is a wonderful thing, and we're delighted with the growth, and Arista has been a longtime pioneer of cloud networking. Um, they're scaling their data centers, uh, the whole applications of meta, with inference, AI, these virtual reality, real reality, gaming. These are all very much the future of why our cloud customers, our cloud titans, as we call them, are investing in us. However, um, you know, the forecast for the visibility for these uh, uh, requirements used to be one or two quarters. And when they came to us with these requests, the supply chain lead times on some of our components is one year. So there was a huge gap and huge mismatch between uh, what was required and what we could do. Add to that some of the Omicron shortages. We really took two steps forward, one step backward. Omicron also brought delays on several components that used to be in weeks, now went into 50 weeks, 70 weeks. So um, the supply chain, not only on the component side, but freight shortages, logistic shortages, labor shortages, has been quite a challenge for the entire industry, and uh, we certainly haven't been immune to it.